Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warplanes. Uh, I kind of wanted to go through the Operation West Wall a little bit and give you guys tips and tricks to beating some of these missions. Uh, most of you guys know these missions are incredibly difficult. The first week is done. The second week is coming up in a day, about a day. And, or the second weekend, second out of six. It'll be six weekends, the first one's done. Uh, but yeah, the grand prize for this mission, these missions is the Dornier 335, which is a tier 8 British premium heavy fighter, which is this one right here, A1 P file, as someone told me, and the XF 15C, the Curtis XF 15C, which is an American tier 8 light fighter premium. So. Let's get started. Uh, these missions are incredibly difficult, but I wanted to give you guys as much tricks to beating these as possible. After the first weekend, this is only one week of playing, uh, the XF-15C missions, I haven't spent any certificates so you guys know. It's also why I don't have those planes reviews up yet. But stage one, mopping up. Uh, this one, 10 aerial kills. It's, I don't have it with distinction. And I don't have this one with distinction. So let's let's first go over what you have to do for these missions. Well, for each mission, there's let's see, there's a total of 15 different missions for each plane. That's a total of 30 different missions. Okay, and each mission has a primary objective and a secondary objective. If you get the secondary objective, you get the little mark with distinction. The primary tasks uh, are much more manageable. And the secondary tasks are usually much harder. So, let's, let's start by going over the primary tasks. For the XF-15C, the first one is 10 aerial targets, any number of battles. You just play the game, you'll get that. Second one, 400 capture points, any amount of games. Again, just play, you'll get it. And you get some nice rewards. And if you complete just the primaries, you get the completed stick sticker. Uh, the third one, 25,000 combat points. Now they're known as personal points, but whatever. Just go ahead and do it. Let's go number eight. Let's see what that is. 40 ground targets, any number of battles. Again just any number of battles. Just play and you'll get it eventually. Uh, this one, 50 enemy fighters, multi rolls or heavy fighters over any number of battles. Let's try these ones. I, I think you guys might be getting a pattern noticed here, but I just want to show you. Any number of target or any number of battles, any number of battles, any number of battles. So my point in the first one is this. The primary tasks are all manageable. You might not have the perfect planes for them, but as long as you play the game uh, enough during these six weeks, you should be able to get these any number of battles primary tasks done. And there's some nice rewards there. You get uh, 2,000 credits and a premium first aid kit. Not bad. Uh, come down here. You get 200 free experience and pneumatic restarter. I mean, they're not the greatest, right? They're not amazing awards, but they're not bad. You come down and you complete number nine. For the primary task, you'll get an XF4U1 pilot, a three skill pilot and 400 gold. That's not bad. Um, even if you don't have this plane, which I also don't have this plane, you, it's a nice three skill pilot for your American planes and you can uh, move them wherever you want. You got a free three skill pilot. Why not? Also, you get 400 gold. I mean, it's not a crazy amount of gold, but it's more than like if you shot down a sheriff in World of Tanks, right? So it's not bad. Um, come down here. Uh, if you complete number 14, well, 15,000 credits, not, that's not really a whole lot, but this if you're only going to do the primaries, this is kind of the big prize for you. Uh, with the Dornier 335, 
the big prize is a three skill pilot for your German planes and 400 gold. So if you're only going to do the primaries, go ahead and try that. But for the secondaries, also note, in order to get this plane, the primary task, you complete this primary task, which is uh, the only one that you have to do in a single battle. Uh, same with the Dornier. There's only there's a primary task where you have to complete uh, in a single battle. All the other ones are over any number of battles. But you complete it, you'll get a trained XF-15C pilot. A five skill pilot. You will not, I repeat, you will not get the plane if you only complete the primary objectives. You need, in order to get the, the plane and uh, camouflage and a hangar slot and all this other good stuff, you have to complete all secondary objectives for that plane. That's where it's difficult. That's where it's difficult because you have to complete everything. Uh, same with this plane, complete all secondary objectives. So, that's what this video is going to be about. I want to show you guys some tricks to beating some of these hard missions, the secondaries. Uh, stage 1 for the XF-15C, additional task, 10 aerial targets in a single battle. Well, I suggest, uh, personally... I've been reading and the attrition mode seems to be much more air targets in the sky and there's going to be neutral sectors again so it's going to be much similar much more similar to uh, uh, conquest right now than uh, the invasion mode was so as far as I'm aware I could be wrong I haven't played the mode yet but from what I can tell Beating the additional task for this will be the easiest if you play it on attrition mode. Uh, also, when you're doing this mission, make sure it's a plane that you very much enjoy. You know, you don't 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 play stock planes if you want. If you really want these tier eight premiums, you have to play planes that are not stock and that you're very very good at. I also recommend loading all universal ammo, uh, putting equipment on it, doing everything you possibly can to give yourself an advantage in this mode so that you have the greatest chance of completing the secondaries. So that's the first one. I do suggest attrition. It's a very difficult mission. Number two, 400 capture points in any number of battles. Um, I also should be noted stage one. There's uh, stage one, there's stage two missions, and there's stage three missions. The stage one missions can be completed in either mode. The stage two missions can only be completed in the invasion mode. Stage three missions can only be completed in the attrition mode. And the fifth, fifteenth one, any mode. Uh, for this one, uh, what I found to be very useful in getting this mission done was in the invade for the invasion mode anyway. Uh, you can get capture points when you're defending. Uh, that sounds crazy. I did not even realize that was a thing, but I completed this mission when we were defending. You get capture points for defending. The name implies you have to be attacking, but that's not true. So that's a good strategy there. Uh, try to get defense if you're playing invasion. I don't know about attrition mode. I haven't played it yet. Uh, this one, 7,500 personal points. All I can say, oh, it says enemy aerial targets. This means they have to be red. They have to be red aerial targets, not air defense planes. So not the neutral planes or not the planes that are there automatically uh, over over bases it has to be for shooting down aerial targets also note that this does not include the extra combat points that you get or personal points that you get when the battles over and they give you a little bit extra that does not include this mission so you have to 
before the battle ends, make sure that you have 7,500 combat points to your name. And in order to get those personal points, you could not have shot down uh, air defense planes. Or if you did shoot down air defense planes, it doesn't count towards it. So you can have 7,500 combat points at the end of the battle, but you're not going to get this mission. So please understand that. That's very important. That's one thing I want to highlight for this mission. All right, moving on to the next one. 25 ground, ground targets in a single battle, 15 ground targets in a single battle. Your aircraft must not be destroyed during the battle. My only tip, go where your team goes and play uh, either a bomber or an, a, a ground attack plane. If you don't have those, good luck. I, that's all I can say. Uh, this one, 10 air defense planes in a single battle in the invasion mode. So this one starts, this mission, these, uh, number 5 through number 9 can only be completed in the invasion mode. Please understand that. Uh, this one, destroy at least 10 air defense planes in a single battle. My tip, get a flight mate. And have the flight mate play either a bomber or a ground attack plane. Why? Because you are guaranteed 100% of the time to get on the attacking team. And that will increase the number of battles where you can actually get this mission. So I highly recommend for this mission to get a flight mate. I personally have not been able to complete it yet. Um, I'll be working on that again. Uh, not this weekend because the invasion mode is not occurring, but next weekend. All right, the good luck on that. It's it, that's very difficult. That's if you're gonna go for the air defense planes, please know. Yes, first have a flight mate that's willing to do a ground attack plane or a bomber only, but also only play. Um, or only shoot down air defense planes. Why? Because other planes are not giving you the points. And I I don't like that. That's you're not helping the team win uh, by trying to complete this mission. But if you want to get this mission done, that's what you have to do. You have to just ignore enemy planes and shoot down uh, the air defense planes. It, don't even try to win. Hope your team takes a sector here and there. But don't even try to win. Just just shoot down air defense planes. That's all that matters. It, don't go for the win. Just shoot down air defense planes. You do not have to win. That's very important to note. So you don't need to try to win. If your team wins, great. If your team doesn't, you could still get this mission. So try try to shoot down air defense planes only. Good luck. That's a hard mission. Stage 2. Uh, number six. 25 personal points for destroying enemy aircraft in any number of victorious battles. Just play the game. You'll get that eventually. Uh, 4,000 hit points to aerial targets in a single battle. Same as before. Go ahead and uh, do the same thing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, sorry. This one, 4,000 hit points of damage to aerial targets. Number one, don't shoot air defense planes right don't shoot air defense planes uh, secondly make sure you're on the defending team and there's no way to guarantee that you're on the defending team but try to be on the defending team because there's a lot of bombers and attack planes and those things have lots of hit points so for this mission I recommend bringing a heavy fighter or something with massive guns and just shoot down air defense or not air defense uh, don't shoot down air defense planes shoot down bombers and attack planes. This one, 20 ground targets and any victorious battles. Just play, you'll get that eventually. This one, 12 enemy aircraft in a single battle in the invasion mode. Your aircraft must not be destroyed during the battle. Good luck. Good luck. I got this one done, but the trick that I used to get this one done was I played early early Monday morning when no one else was really playing and uh, I shot down bots <laughs> that's the only way I could do it 
uh, shooting down human players, they will kill you instantly. Like, if you have a good human player on your tail, you're not shaking them, and they're just going to kill you. So, all I can suggest, fight bots, and good luck. Good luck to you. Uh, yeah, because when I was playing Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they, uh, there was a lot of human players. There was at least half, half each battle. So getting this against human players and not dying a single time, very hard. Also, if you have an air, uh, an airfield, I do suggest going to the airfield and healing up because, hey, you're not going to die. Or it's going to be harder for you to die. This one, oh, sorry, this one right here. No, I missed this one. Okay. This, number 10, starts the attrition mode, so you can only complete it during the attrition mode. 50,000 personal points for aerial targets, victorious battles, don't shoot down air defense planes, uh, win the battle, you'll get it eventually. 50 uh, enemy attack aircraft or bombers, any number of victorious battles, you know, again, you'll get it eventually. Capture at least five sectors in a single battle. Now for this, I haven't played the mode yet but it's very similar to Conquest as far as I'm aware. It just doesn't have the same squall line requirement. <clears throat> but So my, my assumption for this, shoot down, well go to a sector, shoot down a single plane in that sector, like just one plane. That's all it has to be, one plane, run away, and go to another sector and shoot down a single plane. Why? Because if your team takes that sector, well, you'll still get credit for it. But you're not going to waste your time at a single sector for too long. And that's the key. So if you want to get this mission done very well, shoot down a single plane at a sector, most likely go to where your team is going so that you can get credit for that sector that they take, right? And then run to another sector, take a kill a plane, run to another sector, kill a plane, hope your team takes those sectors. So go where your team goes, shoot down a single plane, and run. Uh, don't stick around at a single sector for too long. That's my advice for this one. So I, I think if you if you obey those rules or you try to do that, I think this one will, won't will be terribly hard. You should be able to get that pretty easily, especially because it's neutral sectors and you're going back and forth between the sectors. It just takes one good battle and you'll get that one. This one... 8,000 hit points to ground targets, bomber attack plane. The higher the tier of the plane that you play, the more hit points each target has, therefore the more damage you'll do. So that's my suggestion for this one. Play higher tiers. You should be able to get that. If you don't, just get a good game. I, I don't think 8,000 hit points is too hard to get. Even in a tier 5 plane, I don't think that's too hard to get. Uh, this one... 400 capture points in a single battle. Um, maybe get a flight mate. Just good luck on that. Oh, your aircraft must not be destroyed, so try to survive. And final blow. 8,000 personal points for destroying aerial targets in a single victorious battle. Your aircraft must not be destroyed more than two times. All I can say is if you were shot down more than two times, you're most likely not going to get 8,000 personal points anyway, so this one shouldn't be terribly hard, especially since they give you um, no more than two times. It, that's If it was one time, then yeah, you might not get it, but it, you, two times where you can die and still get the mission. If you die a third time, you won't get the mission, and if you've died three times, you've been out of the game for like a minute. Like You're not likely to get that mission anyway so you know don't die <laughs> that one shouldn't be too hard all right now on to the dornier 335 let's breeze through these ones 8,000 personal points for destroying aerial targets same as the other one 400 capture points in a single victorious battle again same thing uh, 15 air targets in a single battle shoot down bots so I can say uh, Three aircraft or three sectors in a single battle. Your aircraft must not be destroyed during the battle. Again, 
shoot down a single plane, run, shoot down a single plane, run, shoot down a single plane, run. And for this one, because you cannot be di you cannot die the whole battle, just just hide in the corner and that's what Wargaming wants you to do in order to get this mission done. So shoot down a single plane at each sector, run away, and hide in the corner the whole battle. And as long as your team takes those three sectors, you win, even if you lose. So this one, 3,500 hit points to aerial targets in a single battle. Again, shoot down ground attack planes and bombers. This one, 25 air targets in any number of victorious battles. That's just play and you'll get it. 300 capture points in a single battle. Must not be destroyed during the battle. Good luck. Uh, five enemy aircraft using rockets in any number of victorious battles. You know what plane is really good for that? this this plane or any plane in this line uh, if you play the tier 8 batwing the tier 9 batwing or the tier 10 batwing then you're very likely to get this shoot down uh, either go right behind a ground attack planes uh, tail make sure they're going in a straight line shoot off your rockets you'll probably kill them uh, or go head on with something you'll most likely kill them as well because this plane has 24 rockets air to air rockets the tier 8 has the same rockets so it's probably a little bit easier because there's less hit points to do it at tier 8 but you know whatever and the tier 10 version gets 56 rockets so yeah uh, play these planes and if you can't well what can I do for an example? Oh, I know, I know. Let's do the Hurricane 2. I did a review on that recently. It's Hurricane 2. Hurricane 2, you have rockets, right? But if you look at it, it's effective only against ground targets. You have four rockets. The likelihood of you killing something with these rockets are very low because you have very few of them, right? And also, they're not meant to be shot at air targets. I have killed planes using these rockets because I did try it once, so I did get a kill. But it's very difficult, so it can be done, but you're not going to be doing it reliably. Uh, what's another plane that I could show? The Bowfighter? I think this has rockets anyway. Yeah, it has eight rockets. Again, these are armored targets, but you do have eight of them, so it's a little bit more likely to kill something. I think the Mosquito might have a little bit more. So maybe play a British plane if you don't have the uh, German light fighter. But killing someone with these rockets is very difficult. It has been done. I have done it, but it's very difficult. Uh, so that's my suggestion. Also, one other thing. In order to get this mission, reset your skills and get Expert Rocketeer because it increases, uh, it says it significantly increases the chance of hitting the target with rockets. So make sure you have Rocketeer on and, you know, head on or shoot GA planes from the rear. Good luck. And which one are we on now? I think that was direct hit. Yeah, yeah. This one, 8,000 per 8,500 uh, enemy aircraft. Again, don't shoot down air defense planes, and don't die. 30 sectors and any number of victorious battles. That's just time consuming. Uh, 500 personal points for destroying air defense planes. Just focus on shooting down air air defense planes then, because you know. Also, I don't think 500 personal points is too hard to get for shooting down air defense planes, I'm not positive, but that doesn't seem like a whole lot to me. It, it really doesn't. Especially since if you get 10,000 of them, I, I feel like that's not going to be too hard. I could be wrong. I haven't played the mode yet, but good luck. 
Uh, fifth, or 50 attack aircraft or bombers, any number of victorious battles. You know, heavy fighters are great for that, but if you have a good fighter for the job as well, like the Hurricanes or the Tornado, yeah, that's fine too. 8,000 hit points to ground targets in a single battle. Yeah. Ground attack plane bomber. 400 capture points in a single victorious battle. Yeah. Yeah, good luck. And... 15 air defense or enemy aircraft in a single battle. Your aircraft must not be destroyed more than two times. You know what's so hard about that? You know what's so hard about that? I think... Yeah, you have to do that already. You have to do it for a second time. That's the difficult part. But I think uh, it's more doable in the attrition mode. So, go ahead and do that. And with that, I think that's about it for this game mode. Anyway, uh, if you cannot complete some of these missions within the time limit or... Uh, you don't have the time, or some of them are too difficult, they're really stumping you. First note that there's six weeks to complete this. Uh, we only have five left, but if you played last weekend, then good for you. You have an advantage. But secondly, note that you can purchase some certificates, as they're calling it. I think it's certificates anyway. Yeah, certificates. You can buy these certificates and get it completed. But note that completing the primary task does not give you a reduced price uh, to get it completed. So essentially, all you're paying for is to complete the additional task with these certificates. It's not, it'll give you the primary task, but you're not paying to have this one done. It's automatically just going to give it to you for free if you haven't done it already. So. If you're not willing to really try to get these additional tasks done, then, but you still want the plane, then don't even worry about trying to get the primary tasks either. Just buy the plane. It, it's super expensive. It's like a $70 plane, which is ridiculous. Um, and these certificates are not cheap. For 20 certificates, you get, or you can get uh, 20 certificates for nine bucks nine dollars that's expensive that's very expensive especially when you consider uh... let's see twenty one for this mission alone that means nine dollars won't even buy you a single mission in some cases and that's super expensive so, you know, unless you're willing to put a lot of money into it, just grind what you can and uh, hope to get it reduced. Maybe you can get two planes for thirty, forty dollars. Uh, that's a good deal. You're essentially buying like a single tier seven plane, which is a lot cheaper than buying two tier eights, right? So, but you get two tier eights for that. Try to complete these before you just open up your wallet, is what I'm trying to say. Unless you know you absolutely absolutely can't. Because these missions are very difficult, I do realize that. But understand, all the primary tasks, you'll get eventually. You'll just have to put time into it. The only problem is the secondaries. But even this, some of the secondaries uh, are just time consuming as well. So let's, um, let me find one more. Uh, yeah, 25 personal points for destroying enemy aircraft over any number of battles, victorious battles. So this one, why would you pay money for it? I, unless you have, unless you really can't go through all these primaries, try to at least get this one done. I, I mean, some of these additional tests it'll save you money it'll save you like nine dollars just for the single mission so that's my suggestion also when you're going through these the first four you can complete in either mode number five through nine can only be completed in the invasion mode 
So make sure you're playing during invasion and try to get up through number nine in a single weekend. So that way uh, you can complete 10 through 14, which is the attrition mode only mode, um, a little bit easier. That's that's my suggestion. Yeah, attrition mode. So if you if you go up to here with the invasion mode, and then the invasion mode ends for that weekend, well, now you won't be able to complete this mission next weekend because this mission or next weekend you'll be doing the attrition mode and you cannot complete this mission in the attri attrition mode you have to complete it in the invasion mode so y please be aware of that um, try to go through five missions in a single weekend so that way you'll have access to these attrition mode ones for the following weekend with that, I think that's about done. I've heard this plane is really fun. It's very much worth it. But as you can see, I put a lot of time into these missions last weekend, and I, I'm missing two. Uh, this one, I'm hoping to be able to get during this weekend for the attrition mode, and also I'm hoping to get this, or next, I won't be able to get this one this weekend, but they're difficult they are very very difficult and if you don't have the right planes for it some of these missions are next to impossible and you know the not dying requirement it's exponentially difficult when you're shooting down humans because most more often than not you have at least three or four good human players and uh, it, it's very difficult so try playing the don't die ones uh, at times when no one else is playing so you can just shoot down bots that's my advice put a lot of time into it if you really want these planes uh, I did get all of these ones with distinction I found them to be a little bit easier uh, you may not find them to be easier but I found these ones to be much more doable and also one last passing mention uh, I think the hardest secondary missions are in the first four missions and the invasion mode missions I think those ones are the hardest to complete so uh, the number 10 through number 14 are all just except for like one they're all just play and you'll eventually get it so these ones seem very doable I wouldn't spend 21 certificates on trying to complete this because this is just time you just put time into it and you'll get it so with that being said I am done I'm done talking about this mode do I think the missions are stupid not all of them I, I, I certainly don't believe all of them are stupid I think some of them are outlandish but if you're willing to put time into it you can complete at least half of these with secondaries at least and you're saving yourself half the cost of these planes. You're basically buy one, get one free, right? So I I I really don't like some of these missions, but at the same time, they're not all bad and I can't criticize them. It's just getting that last little bit that's very difficult, I think. The 15 kill mission three times, that that's a little ridiculous. That's that's pretty silly. Or 12 kills and don't die, that's pretty silly too, especially you know, or the 10 air defense planes. Are you kidding me? That, that's ridiculous. But a lot of them are doable, I think. So good luck with your missions. I hope this helped. I, I want to see you guys be able to complete these. Um, but with that being said, I'll thank you all for watching and have a brilliant day.